good evening today we are going to see a problem that is on collocation method so now in this first i will show this is my youtube channel civil engineers technical hub subscribe it and you can see different playlist you have to go to playlist to see the different problems so we have playlist in this now if you will go here then you will see number of playlist where you will get videos related this with this so end same exam of dsc design of steel structures so now for uh, sppu you have in same structure analysis and in same design of reinforced concrete structures so we have different uh, playlist over here so subscribe this channel so now we have this problem that is uh, solve the problem for the boundary conditions uh, for y of 0 that is equal to 1 and for y of 1 that is also equal to 1. Given partial differential equation is d2i by dx square plus y equal to minus 1 and domain we have x greater than or equal to 0 less than or equal to 1 and we are interested to find the value of y that is at x equal to 0 0.5. So now we will start with this. So as power of uh, partial differential equation is 2, so we have polynomial function 2 plus 1, 3. So we should have x to the power 3. So we will consider trial polynomial function as y is equal to c1 plus c2x plus c3x square plus c4x cube because we require 2 plus 1. So we have this as x cube, that is 3. Then boundary conditions we have given the y of 0 is 1, that is at x equal to 0. We have y is equal to 1. This is 1. We will put this value in equation y. So by substituting this, so you can see this, we will get c1. This becomes 0, c2 into 0, c3, 0 square plus c4, 0 cube. And this value actually we have value of y that is equal to 1. And from this, we will get value of C1 that is equal to 1. Because this y is not 0, y of 0 is 1. So we have substituted this value of y that is equal to 1. And from this, I will get C1 equal to 1. Now, second boundary condition, we have y of 1 is equal to 1. That means x equal to 1, y equal to 1. So we will put this value, y is 1. X, we are C1, we have 1, that we have substituted C2, 1 plus C3, 1 square plus C4, 1 cube. And from this, if we will solve this, then we are going to get this C2 that is equal to minus C3 minus C4. Because C2 we will keep uh, keep on one side and C3 and C4 we will take on other side. So it becomes minus. So now if we will substitute this value of C2 in equation of Y, then you can have this equation that is equation y and here I will put value of c1 as 1 and value of c2 that is equal to minus c3 minus c4 and by this we will get y is equal to 1 plus minus c3 minus c4x plus c3x square plus c4x cube. Now we will uh, rearrange the terms you can see this so here we have with c3 we have minus x and again with C3, we have X square. So if I will take C3 common from this and this, then we will get it as minus X plus X square. So we have minus X plus X square. And C4, we have minus X plus X cube. And this will be my equation of Y now. Now, given equation, we have D2Y by DX square plus Y equal to minus 1, which is given in question. So now we will have to find value of d2y by dx square and that value we will get um, by differentiating y. So by dy by dx, c3 we will put and we have minus x minus 1 and x square we have 2x plus c4 minus x minus 1 x cube 3x square. Again we will differentiate d2y by dx square. So we have c3. So now minus 1 becomes 0, 2x will be 2 plus c4 and this will be 6x. So now we will substitute value of y and d2y by dx square in this equation. And from this, we will get equation as this equation. This is d2y by dx square. You can see 2c3 plus 6xc4. This we have that is value of y, 1 plus c3 minus x plus x square 
plus c4 minus x plus x cube and that is equal to minus 1. Now we will uh, rearrange the terms and for, by rearranging the terms we will get residue that is equal to c3 2 minus x plus x square plus c4 by x plus x cube plus 2 because here I have rearranged the terms so this is 2 c3 uh, c3 so c3 I have 2 then minus x and then plus x square so it will be 2 minus x plus x square c4 we have this as 6x and here we have minus x plus x cube so 6x minus x plus x cube and from this we will get residue now in colligation method we have given domain 0 1 unknown are 2 c3 and c4 so we have to consider two gauss points so i have considered that will be an equal interval so I have considered two gauss point, one x equal to one by three, another we have x equal to two by three. And we know we have residue at one by three and residue at one by and two by three. These both values should be zero. So now I will put R of one by three, that is equal to R of two by three. And we should have this value of residue and that value should be equal to zero. So we will put these values of residue in values of x in residue and we will get two equations now that we will see. So we have r of 1 by 3 0. So I have substituted it uh, r 0. So c3 2 minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 square 2 minus x plus x square plus c4 pi x plus x cube plus 2. So that we have over here. So you can see this equation. And from this, we will get first equation 0 equal to 16 by 9 C3 plus 46 by 27 C4 plus 2. And from this, we will get 16, 16 by 9 C3. So we have rearranged this and we will get this equation that is equal to A. Now in second, you can see we have substituted R, R of 2 by 3. So X we have substituted 2 by 3, 1 by 3 is replaced by 2 by 3 now. And we will get another equation. So if we will simplify this, we have this equation that is equation B. Now solve these two equations simultaneously and we will get this value C3 as minus 1.125 and C4 as 0. So knowing this value, we can find C2 which will be 1.125. So now we will go to equation Y. We have this equation Y equal to 1 plus C3 minus X plus X square plus C4 minus X plus X cube. Now I will put value of C3 and X we have to put that is equal to 0 0.5. And substituting this value in the equation, <clears throat> so you can see this. So we have 1 minus because C3 we have minus 1.125. You can see over here. So we have value of C3 minus 1.125. <clears throat> and x we have put minus x we have 0.5 and substituting these values we will get value of y that is equal to 1.28 i have also solved is by collocation method if you solve this problem by collocation method you check it you are with this then you will get value of c3 that is 0 0.0 minus 0 0.93 for practice you can go this so i have value of c3 that is equal to minus 0 0.93 and you can calculate sorry, 0 0.93 and then value of C4, we got it as minus 0.1. And from this, if you will calculate the value of Y, we will get 1.271 or 272 likewise. So you can go, this is by your Garkin method, sorry, Galerkin's method. So you, you have to solve it, you can see this and check your answer, are you going to get the same or not? So Galerkin method. So now we will stop here only. So thank you.